Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we've got a financial analysis on a building that's sold in Ottawa, in central Ottawa. <clears throat> we'll break that down for you, and again, if you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscription button, the notification bell, and we'll send them out to you every 30 days. So let's get right into it. So this six-unit residential property was listed for a million three. It sold for a million two. The scheduled rental income on it was almost $86,000. The effective rental income was $83,000. That's after we deduct for vacancy and bad debt. The operating expenses were almost $28,000. And when we add in 5% for maintenance and management, um, <clears throat> the total operating expenses on it were about $36,000, leaving us with an NOI of almost $47,000. So the interpretation of that um, gives us a cap rate of 3.9%. The operating expenses are on the high side at uh, 44%. When we look at the sale uh, in terms of a multiple of the gross and the net, sold for 14 times gross, 26 times the net. Uh, looking at the traditional down payment of 35%, that is a $420,000 down payment. And when we convert the mortgage into the annual mortgage payments, that's called an annual debt service, by the way. The annual debt service is a little over $54,000. So we know what our NOI is, we know what our ADS is. That gives us a negative annual cash flow of about minus 7,500. And that's a negative ROI of about 1.8%. So that's not a lot of fun, right? So what would it take in order to have this property cash flow positive? Well, here's the bottom line. <clears throat> it takes a down payment of 45%, and that's $540,000 as your down payment. And for the privilege of uh, submitting $540,000, you now have a positive cash flow, razor thin, of $837, and that gives you a razor thin ROI of 0.16%. So that's the way that one shook out. If you enjoy getting these, uh, click here, and we've got a property that actually was cash flow positive with 35% down payment. Hit the like button, and we'd appreciate that. Thank you.